Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the files app on Casa OS. What we're going to be doing today is to basically explore and see what are some of the cool things we can do with that app. So if you guys are new here, my name is JC LaForge. I do YouTube videos regarding all types of subjects, including home labs and other tech related stuff. So yeah, if you're new, like, subscribe, and let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, since I run this Casa OS container in an LXC container on my Proxmox, what we will be doing is starting that container up and uh, seeing what's what. So I believe my Casa OS container is the Casa YouTube. We're just going to start this bad boy up and this is really quick so it should basically um, start up very quickly and we're gonna do a login root with our password that uh, it's the same password we use when we set this up so and once that's done really there isn't anything else you need to do unless you really want to do an update so First thing when you log in into your LXC container is to um, we'll do an apt update and we'll do a comma apt upgrade or a semicolon. Um, and then over here you see that there are some servers that I need to delete. So we won't, we won't worry about this today. So the first thing we need is to get the IP address for this server. And the IP is it should be here. So this is the IP. I already have the tab open. It's just for you guys to see how you get it. Uh, you just type in a IP ADDR, which is basically IP address. And once you have that, then you can use that IP to go to your Casa OS. And if you don't know how to do an install of Casa OS on an LXC container, I do believe I made a video about that. I might link this in the description. So let's go here and let's log in. So the login is YouTube and then we enter the password and here we are. So we have everything. Some of these drives are not really here. It's basically detecting them from the Proxmox, but that's not why we are here. So what interests us today is the files app and the files app, guys, as you can see, it's very interesting. So think of this as like your Windows manager or your files explorer on Windows. And this basically helps you navigate and see what's what. So right off the bat, you're going to be presented with all of these folders. And the folders here we have is app data, documents, downloads, gallery, and uh, media. And each one has its own function and you can use it as you want. And you can even create new uh, folders if you go over here and you can create files and folders right here. But for my use case, I like this to be clean. And what the most important um, folder here is the app data. And the app data is mostly where all of your Docker containers are going to be stored by default. Now, I believe you can always choose your own folder, but in this case, they have the app data. And if you see here, I have all my Docker containers there. And the, the default folder is the data folder, but you can see that you can go deeper and you can go to the root um, folder. Now, I always recommend if you don't know what you're doing, do not play around here deleting things and stuff like that. But if you do know what you're doing, then you understand what's actually going on. And here is mostly where we're going to be looking at today. So one of the things that you need to understand is that Casa OS is basically a skin on top of Linux. You can install it on uh, most uh, distribution, Linux distributions. And once it's installed, then you can, I do believe this is Ubuntu. So uh, once it's installed, then you have this GUI. Basically, you can then manage your server from the GUI. And it's heavily focused on Docker, but 
as you guys were able to see, you also have access to the file system from the GUI as well. So in our case, we're mostly interested in data because that's where you're going to spend most of your time. So as you can see, uh, you have a few things that you can do. As I said here, sometimes you might be delete a Docker container and the Docker container, you're not sure if the uh, folder has also been deleted. So you, you'll be able to come here and see your folder and also get rid of it if needed. But always be careful because you might delete something that is actually active and uh, currently being used. So always be careful. One other things that you can do here is that this can also be used such as like an SMB share. So you can, you are able to right click on a folder, any folder and click on share. And once you do that, as you guys can see, you do have a basically it becomes an SMB share where you can actually map this on your computer and uh, be able to view it. So this is very and you can always stop as well. So this is very powerful that you can do this just as from a right click. This is one of the things that I like about Casa OS. Another thing that you are able to do is to add locations. Now, locations can be anything really. Over here, you can add an SMB uh, network um, storage uh, location. And as you can see, uh, you're also able to connect other uh, online file storage services such as Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. And this is actually very useful. Let's say you want, you have a Google Drive and you, you don't want to open the browser and uh, copy pasting things and you want to sync multiple folders and files, you will be able to do it from here. So this is important and it's very interesting. You guys can try it out and see how that works. Another thing that is very interesting is this uh, place here called shared. Now shared is going to be all of your folders. Now remember, if you have a thousand folders and files shared, it's probably better to be able to see all of them in one place. The next feature that we're going to be taking a look at is the file drop. Files drop is basically airdrop between different browsers. Um, I uh, invite you to kind of experiment with this. And as we can see here, it says drop files to another device anytime, anywhere. So this is cool. And uh, normally it detects like my Chrome browser here and other things, and I can grab files and detect and uh, drop them there. So, you know, play with this and you'll tell me how that works. Um, another thing that you can do is that you can actually create documents and manage them. So as we can see here, we can create a file. We can do new file, um, new.txt, and we can actually even edit the file over here. So this is pretty straightforward. Now, I'm not sure that you can actually edit PDFs or other things, but you can always experiment with that and see how that works. Um, downloads is basically a place where you can place any type of things that you might download. Same principle is we can create folders within folders. If you've used any type of file explorer or file system, it's basically the same. Media it's basically pre-created for you to add things if you ever need to add anything in there. And what else? Um, other than that, you can manage files and things like that. I think that we've gone through pretty much everything. I might be missing a few things here, but one of the most powerful features that you can actually use this for is that you can turn this into your own Google Drive and you can actually... Um, use uh, a proxy to host this on the internet safely of course and always have access to it and have access to your files anywhere that you might be so this is a powerful powerful tool that you can actually use to have your data accessible to anywhere you might be safely if you know how to do that you can use cloud for cloudflare tunnels or other technologies to actually bring about um, data portability. So yeah, that was the files app on the Casa OS. And I just thought that, you know, we do a bit of an overview and uh, see what's what. And also just to show you 
every time when you create uh, a um, a Docker container, uh, let me actually go in here and show you. So when you go to settings here, you will see that by default, um, this one doesn't have it. Yes, it does. By default, you can see that the host volume here points to the slash data slash app data. So this is by default where it's going to be mapping um, all of your data. So it's going to create the folders in the app data. So that's for the um, the Docker containers. Yeah, and uh, that's it. Um, I don't see any other thing related to the files app that I might want to cover. And if you guys think of anything that I have forgotten, um, link in the description below and tell me um, how you like Casaway so far. And if you might recommend this to any of your friends. 